Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and today is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have breakfast, lunch, and a cookie recipe. I'm so excited. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That's what I follow to lose my 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for meal prep. For my breakfast for the week, I'm making a copycat Dunkin' Donuts recipe. I'm making Dunkin' Omelette Bites. I'm so excited for these. I'm going to have this with some fruit. I still have a couple of my Trader Joe's pumpkin bagels, so I may have half of a bagel with some pumpkin cream cheese, but this is going to be my main source for breakfast and my main source of protein. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need some milk of your choice, a bell pepper. You can use any color, light shredded cheese. You can do bacon, turkey sausage, chicken sausage. I actually have these Gilbert Caprese sausages left over in my fridge. I need to eat these up, so I'm going to use those eggs, an onion, and some salt and pepper. So to make the Dunkin' Omelette Bites, I'm going to crack four eggs into a bowl. Quarter cup of non-fat milk and some salt and pepper. And then we're going to whisk that all together, kind of like we're making scrambled eggs. I have a donut pan. We're going to spray that with some nonstick cooking spray. If you don't have a donut pan, you could probably use a mini muffin pan or regular muffin pan. This is just what the recipe called for. And then we're evenly going to distribute the red bell pepper, the onion, and the sausage into the bottom of the donut pan. going to pour that egg mixture right on top. And then our omelet bites are going into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the eggs are set. I almost forgot a quarter cup of cheese distributed amongst the omelet bites. I actually put these in the oven and then I saw the cheese laying on the counter. So you do want to take a quarter cup of cheese and just sprinkle that evenly on top and then we'll go back into the oven. The omelet bites are out of the oven. These smell so good. I'm so excited for these. It made six total. I'm going to have one each day. I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making a turkey bacon ranch club. I'm really excited for this. I've been craving those little pinwheel sandwiches from Costco, so I'm going to make a healthier, higher protein version. So let me show you what you'll need. You can use any cheese. I have the Sargento Ultra Thin Mild Cheddar. I'm going to use the Ultra Thin just because there's so much in these wraps. I like to, I really only like to take calories, points, fat for cheese if I can really taste it. And I don't know how much will taste it in these. I think very, very faintly. So I'm going to use thin cheese. I have some oven roasted turkey breast, low carb tortillas of your choice, light ranch dressing, tomatoes. I just cooked up a bunch of the Columbus turkey bacon. I actually need this for another recipe. So I just cooked up a whole pack and then some romaine lettuce. So the first thing I'm going to do is thinly slice my tomatoes and chop up my lettuce. So to assemble the wraps, you're going to need one tortilla, a tablespoon of light ranch, and then we're going to spread that out over the entire tortilla. I have three slices of turkey. That is one serving of this particular turkey. My one slice of cheese, two slices of turkey bacon, my tomatoes, and some chopped up romaine. And then we're going to fold this up just like we would a burrito. So kind of fold in the sides and then roll it up. And then we're going to slice this in half. You could cut this into pinwheels, really whatever you'd prefer. 
Here's what my lunch looks like. This looks so good. Like I said, you could pair this with some fruit, some chips, whatever you prefer for lunch, but this is going to give us some good carbohydrates, lots of protein, and even some veggies. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making what is supposed to be the best, chewy pumpkin cookies. So excited for these. Let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need sugar-free maple syrup. I have the Chalk Zero. You're also going to need a brown sugar alternative. I love Sucre and Gold. I actually just ordered this on Nutrition. I do have a discount code for Nutrition. I'll link it. This one is zero calories, zero points. I think it tastes just like regular brown sugar. You're also going to need some light butter, vanilla extract, flour, sugar alternative. As always, I have allulose. I do buy my allulose on Amazon. I found the best price. I will link it for you. Allulose is a natural sweetener alternative from figs and raisins. So it doesn't have any weird cooling effect. And I think it tastes just like regular sugar. It's my favorite. Also baking powder, baking soda, salt, canned pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice, and cinnamon. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically cook down this butter. Now light butter isn't going to get the same browned butter effect as actual butter, but I am going to cook this down, try to get it a little bit brown. So I transferred the warmed butter to my bowl. I'm going to throw this in the fridge for about 10 minutes. You do want to get your butter nice and cool. So to get started on the cookies as my butter is cooling, I'm adding two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour to a bowl. We're going to do one teaspoon of baking soda and then half of a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and then pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon. And then we're going to stir all of the dry ingredients together. The recipe says that they consider the brown sugar a wet ingredient, so not to add it at this stage. So I'm going to mix all of this together and set it aside. So I just pulled the cool butter out of the refrigerator. I'm going to add in my one cup of sucre and gold, and then I'm going to whisk that in with the butter. You can also use a stand mixer or a handheld mixer. Then I'm going to add in my one egg yolk, three tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup, and my vanilla extract. And then again, mix all of that together until fully combined. And then lastly, I'm going to stir in about half of a cup of pumpkin puree. And then I'm slowly going to add in the dry ingredients and stir just until combined. Just make sure you do not overmix. I'm going to place my cookie dough into the fridge while I mix together the cinnamon and sugar topping and I have my oven preheating to 350. So I added three tablespoons of allulose, one tablespoon of sucre and gold, and some cinnamon and I'm just going to mix this together and then we'll be ready to get our cookies in the oven. So I went ahead and sprayed my baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to scoop out eight cookies. My goal is to get 16 or more out of the batch. I don't know exactly how many we're going to get. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some of that cinnamon and sugar mixture on top of each cookie. And then I'm going to toss them into the oven for about 12 minutes or until they're cooked through. So our cookies are out of the oven. These smell also incredible. It's like a bakery in here. These look really good. This sugar topping kind of gave it a little bit of that chewiness. I'm going to allow these to cool, package them up, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the cookies. I actually put a few in a bag for Troy to take to his dad and his stepmom today, but I will put all the information here on the screen. These look so good. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Don't forget they are on my recipe website that is linked at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. Happy, happy Monday. Here's to a healthy, successful week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.